Alright guys, so today we have a new lottery in Pixel Gun 3D, and in it comes with a lot of really cool weapons, and the three main weapons are the Submarine Drone Station, which was just recently buffed. It now has a lot bigger AoE area of effect kind of thing when you shoot the rockets. We have the Underwater Carbide, which is a pretty good sniper from what I remember, and then of course Echo Scanner, which has a reputation for being one of the most obnoxious backups in the game. However, since these weapons have been added, there have been several game changes, like more mythical armor, different types of reworks that might have made these weapons obsolete, but so today we are going to find out just how good these weapons are and if you should grind to get them, because these weapons definitely used to be part of the meta, however the meta has changed and we don't really know if they still are, because I haven't used them in a long time, but yeah, from what I remember these are some of the best weapons you can get. But today we're going to find out if they still are. So before I continue, I'd just like to say if you guys enjoy Pixel Gun content or you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe for more Pixel Gun content and turn those notifications on while you're at it. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram for more channel updates or just kind of what I do behind the scenes if that kind of interests you guys. Uh, Instagram will be linked down in the description. And yeah, let's just jump into the rest of the video. So the Echo Scanner has a DPS of 140, at least that's what the wiki says, which is actually decent, I'm pretty sure, especially because the range on this for an electro thrower is actually pretty good. Um, looks like Underwater Carbide does 142 to the body. Oops, I clicked the wrong button there. Um, it does 142 to the body and then 199 damage to the head, which is kind of frustrating, I'm not going to lie, because literally any slight damage increase will make this weapon a one-shot headshot to regular armor at least. And then the submarine drone station does 128 damage for the base damage and then the random effect that it has can do like about 40, 30 ish damage. I don't want to do the math right now, so yeah. But of course, the real test comes in when we use these weapons against real players. Alright, so a lot of you guys seem to enjoy when I tell stories, um, so if you guys want, stick around for some, like, I guess just stories that I have to talk about um, from work and stuff like that. But for now, I'm going to actually review these weapons. So, as you guys can see, one of the coolest things about Submarine Drone Station is this radar that it has. I think it's called, like, Enemy Locator, which allows you to see the position of enemies on the map, um, um, which can make for some very, very useful scenarios when you're playing like Team Strike or stuff like that. Um, and yeah, right now, of course, um, again, I just have not been playing Pixel Gun a lot recently, so uh, my my gameplay might be a little whack because <laughs> not exactly used to the gameplay. Again, it kind of Apex Legends, Clash of Clans, those are kind of the games I've been playing, you know? So yeah, this will be bad gameplay, however. Yeah, what I could see, Summary Drone Station is pretty much always a two-shot. Um, however, you might have the occasional one-shot, uh, just depending on their armor and the effectiveness of the negative effects that it can do, which is poison, burning, and bleeding, and that dude is just having connection problems. Um, and it looks like, honestly, the rocket speed is pretty good. Call of Duty, bro, you're messing up my gameplay there. Oh my gosh. I haven't... I literally have never been getting Call of Duty notifications up until recently, and it's just kind of annoying. Um... Also, it looks like the damage depends on how close the explosion happens to the person. So, like, if you get a direct shot, that'll do the full amount of damage it possibly can. However, if you, like, hit him, like, on the ground next to their feet, it's not going to do nearly as much damage, which I guess makes sense. But, yeah, as you guys can see, Submarine Drone Station is definitely a really good heavy to get. If only I could hit my shots, okay? I'll be honest, guys. This time... It's because of my gameplay that the weapon is not good, alright? Sometimes I say a weapon's not good, and then people just go off on me about how trash I actually am because I apparently offended them by telling them a pixel gun weapon is not that good. But, um, yeah, today, it's definitely me, alright? I am not all there with my pixel gun skill, and currently, I can't hit any of these shots because I don't understand the concept of rockets. But let's move on to the underwater carbine. So, um, it should be a one-shot headshot. However, of course, that uh, probably will not be the case. Uh, of course, I mean, just what do you expect with the current state of pixel gun? Of course, it wouldn't be a one-shot. This, this sniper used to actually be really good because of the fire rate and then also um, the damage it did. However, uh, looks like even with level 7 modules, it's still not going to be a one-shot headshot against all these different types of mythical armors that players have. So, it should always be a two-shot, even body shot. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, I, I'd like to confirm that here by actually hitting body shots on people. However, I cannot do... Mid-gaming? What? What is this? I'm getting bullied on the internet, guys. What else is new, right? 
Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm assuming that this is just going to mainly be a two-shot body shot all the time. Um, and honestly, guys, I think that for this fi the fire rate of this sniper, that's pretty dang good. It's just not really ideal for 3-cat. Except, of course, I'm assuming that this weapon doesn't actually have input delay because of the fire rate. Okay, it still does. So, yeah, this weapon is definitely not ideal for 3-cat. However, for spamming, it could be pretty good if you can hit your shots, which, of course, is not me today. There we go. Um, so, yeah, two-shot body shot. One, and I have to reload, of course, and then I'm dead. As of, as of expected, that made no sense, but that was a one-shot headshot. Interesting. Uh, also, it looks like this has the target mark ability, which uh, basically just means that you can uh, like scope in on people, and it will mark their location, which is pretty dang cool. I've noticed that this set is kind of like a locator set because of the fact that both Echo Scanner and this one have target mark. I'm pretty sure Echo Scanner has... Yeah, Echo Scanner has target mark, and this one has target mark. So, yeah, and then Submarine Drone Station has that radar ability, which, honestly, guys, is pretty dang cool. So, Echo Scanner's next. So, what you guys will notice is that this weapon's range for the Electro Thrower is actually really good. Um, of course, if people have countering modules, that will significantly hurt the power of this weapon. However, um, it is still a really high damage uh, backup, and it used to be probably one of the best backups you get in the game. However, I, this weapon has been nerfed several times since then, and honestly, it might not even be that good anymore, um, just depending on, I don't know, gameplay here. We'll find out. Of course, it is a close range weapon still, so yeah, um, you, this map, map might not actually be the best map to test this weapon in because of the fact that I have to move everywhere to actually get kills. Um, maybe I should equip Jets, Jets Beer. Maybe that's what I should do. But yeah, honestly, the damage is still decent. Um, if I can just like quickly move back and forth and try and avoid shots, that'll be nice. However, of course, that's probably... Who's shooting me? No, don't shoot me. Do not shoot me. You, you do not have permission to kill me. There we go. Nice. So yeah, Echo Scanner is actually pretty good. Um, honestly, in my opinion, Echo Scanner it might be like the worst one out of this set. However, of course, it is still pretty good. Um, yeah, good Electro Thrower range. Real Mint Gaming. No! Fake! Fake! Good enough. There we go. Alright, so, so um, honestly, yeah. Submarine Drone Station is probably the best weapon. Then I'd go uh, Underwater Carbine and then probably Echo Scanner. I know a lot of you guys probably don't like that ranking. And, yeah, that's okay. I mean, I guess you guys are definitely entitled to... Okay, he's so heartbroken by that. You guys can definitely think what you want. However, that's just how I'd rank them. Um, do they fit with the current meta? Huh. I would say that Submarine Drone Station definitely still does. It's definitely still good. It's It, it used to be like a one-shot sometimes. However, it definitely just hits more consistent two shots, which is pretty good. Obviously, having a one-shot rocket weapon at, with this fire rate would be really overpowered. Um, so yeah, that would be kind of too OP, and we don't want that. Um, however, this is still just very useful and good. So honestly, I'd say yes. Underwater Carbine, I don't know. It, it's just, I feel like that maybe it might be a bit weak. Um, I think if it one-shot headshot more often, it would be a lot better. However, I still think maybe it would be on, like, the lower end of current meta weapons, if that makes sense. Echo Scanner, I definitely don't think does, because unless you're playing close range, you have to move all the way across the map to get to people, and that will they'll just definitely die before you even get there. And, um, yeah, the damage just isn't all that great anymore. They're just more high damage per second weapons than that. So I think Echo Scanner might be, like, one of the worst weapons out of this list um yeah i don't know it's again this is just kind of on your opinion i'm letting i'm trying to get a let you guys uh form your own opinion on this and I, I cannot english right now guys i'm sorry all right so now for some stories from work so if you guys don't know i work at a theme park and basically that means i have so many people interactions during the day and so many amazing stories to tell that is that are just amazing they're just a memorable experiences that i have so um the first one it was probably one of the hottest days of the week yesterday. I started at 4 and worked till like 11. Um, so basically, I wanted ice cream. So my brother got off early. We work in the same area and whatever. So he went to get me ice cream. And he knew the guy working. And so uh, when he ordered ice cream, he ordered a junior cone, which is still like four scoops of ice cream. However, this dude loaded a bowl up with like nine scoops of ice cream and then still gave me an extra cup of ice cream to have so that was really cool i thought that was just amazing getting so much freaking ice cream because it was freaking roasting out it was bad and i i go to work in like about 45 minutes from recording this video okay so 
I gotta record this, edit it, and upload it quick. <laughs> yeah, which is why if this video is poorly edited, that's why, because I literally go to work in 45 minutes from recording this. So, yeah, this will be interesting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's gonna suck today. Also, um, another thing is like I was working this booth, uh, the game booth. If you don't, if you guys don't know, I basically work the quote rigged carnival games. These aren't rigged. Ours are not rigged except for ring toss. That one's probably definitely rigged. Um, but anyways, this game is a winner every time. You basically just pick ducks, and there's numbers on the bottom, and you total up the numbers, and that will tell you which prize you get. So, uh, the medium prizes consist of pink sheep, white sheep, uh, little kitty cats, and pigs. And it's so funny when people uh, come up and they ask for the regular sheep, <laughs> the normal sheep, and they're talking about the white sheep. It's It kind of creates an awkward, awkward situation for me where I'm like, do you mean the white one? And they're like, oh, yeah, silly me, I meant the white one. And I'm like, yeah, that's okay. Kind of awkward, but I don't know. I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, all right, let's see here. Do I have any more stories off the top of my head? Any funny stories that I can just think of instantly here? I guess I kind of just have like a wholesome moment story. Um, so uh, again, I was working this duck game and it's all the little kids that are absolutely fascin fascinated by this game and honestly probably the only reasons they play it is because they want the ducks. They don't even want the real prizes that we have. And so this little girl came up to the game and like her parents like paid to play of course and so like she, she, she's just, she just like picking out, picking out the ducks and of course like after they pick the three ducks they're allowed to get, she just kept picking up the ducks and the parents were like kind of getting frustrated. However, what, what, what was just so wholesome about this was that like after each duck she picked up, like the ducks go around in like a circle river thing, um, after each duck she picked up, she would set it down and she just like wave at it and say bye each time because like they would just go around uh, the backside and you wouldn't be able to see them anymore. And it was just so funny. She just kept picking up ducks and putting them back and saying bye the whole time. And I was just like dying. Like honestly, I couldn't stop myself from laughing. I was like, <laughs> it was just so freaking adorable. I don't know why. I don't know why. It was just hilarious. Like normally kids are just whiny and stuff like that. But no, this girl, she was so fascinated by the fact that the ducks would just swim away. And that's all she cared about. She didn't care about a prize. She didn't care about the ducks. She just thought it was funny to like pick up the ducks and just say bye to them. I don't know. It, it was just one of those experiences that just was hilarious and I loved it so much. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Um, honestly, I don't. I haven't been paying attention to the gameplay at all. I think I've just kind of been randomly playing. So, yeah, if you guys like this video and found this helpful, make sure to subscribe for more reviews. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching, and I hope to see you guys all in the next Pixel Gun video. Peace. By the way, 20 kills, not, not bad, not bad.